Hi, my name is Troy Etheridge. I was uh, reborn October 28, 2006. My life before Christ um, was a mess. I uh, didn't grow up in a Christian home. I grew up in a uh, broken home that had a lot of addiction and alcoholism and violence. And at a really uh, young age, I started experimenting with drugs and alcohol. Um, and it was, was going down the wrong path. Um, then I had a couple traumatic things that happened in my life. Um, when I was 19, my best friend committed suicide right in front of me. And um, in my 20s, I had a um, girlfriend who was killed in a drunk driving accident. And those things kind of drove me deeper and deeper into addiction and into like that bad lifestyle, lifestyle like destruction. And um, at different times in my life, I would uh, I, I lived kind of like in this cycle where at different times in my life, I would um, try to turn over a new leaf, um, that I would try to start a business or get a good job. I always thought that if I made enough money, um, that I would, ha I would find happiness, I would find purpose. Um, but no matter where I um, no matter how successful I would get, um, my addiction and my lifestyle would always seem to catch up to me and drag me back down. Um, and that's kind of where I found myself at in 2006. Um, I had led the police on this crazy high-speed chase. I um, was using about $200 a day in cocaine and um, had gotten some pretty serious trouble. And while I was out on bail, I uh, met this lady, her name was Robin Grote. She was a, a counselor, a Christian counselor. And she asked me this question that changed my life forever. She said, uh, Troy, do you know Jesus Christ? And that kind of blew me away. I was like, well, um, everybody knows Jesus, right? He's Jesus, like who doesn't know Jesus? But as she explained her relationship, I had to admit, no, I don't know Jesus like that. I mean, she seemed like she had just got off the phone with him or something. Um, so she gave me this book called Purpose Driven Life, and through her testimony and um, through that book, I learned that um, everything was created by God, and everything was created for God, and everything was created for His glory. And I had kind of lived my life that I was kind of the center of the universe, and um, this book was kind of showing me that actually God is God, and He should be the one that, that's at the center of everything. And that kind of was life-changing for me in itself. Um, so later on in that week, I um, finally got to a point, the Lord brought me to this place where I realized I was a sinner and I needed a savior and that Jesus Christ was that savior. And all by myself in a bedroom, I just cried out to God and asked him to save me. And I didn't really, I didn't really understand what that exactly meant, that I, I just knew that he was offering me a relationship with him and that I just prayed and asked him that you're God, if you would just show me how it is to be a Christian, what it is to, what that is, what that means, that if you would lead, I'll follow. And um, immediately, um, I had this radical uh, life change. Um, he did take away the addiction, um, the cocaine addiction and that kind of thing. But even bigger than that, he like gave me a heart transplant. The very next day, when I woke up, I was just full of love. I mean, I was just crazy in love. I loved my family in a way that I hadn't, I mean, my heart was fixed in places I didn't even know were broken. I loved my friends in a different way, and I, I loved my brothers and sisters in Christ as I would meet them. And I would even, I even loved the strangers on the street. I loved the lost. I loved God, and I loved His Word. I think one of the biggest things God used, has used to transform my life is His Word. And um, before I became a Christian, I didn't understand the Bible at all. I, I, never, I never knew what was inside the Bible. I thought that, um, that the Bible was full of like perfect people that kind of floated around on clouds or something and like blessed people or whatever. It's ridiculous, but that's what I thought. Um, I didn't realize that the Bible was full of broken people, that God um, would redeem and would choose to save and then use them for his purpose and that he would get glory um, to himself through their lives. Um, matter of fact, one of, the, one, of the, one of my most favorite pieces of scripture is 1 Timothy, um, first chapter, Paul writes, I thank Christ Jesus our Lord who has given me strength, that he considered me faithful, that he would appoint me to his service. 
Even though I was a blasphemer and a persecutor and a violent man, I was shown mercy because I acted in ignorance and unbelief. The grace of our Lord was poured out on me abundantly along with the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. Here's a trustworthy saying that deserves full acceptance. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am the worst. But for that very reason, I was shown mercy so that in me, the worst of sinners, Christ Jesus might display his immense patience as an example for those who would believe in him and receive eternal life. Even to this day, even in this moment right now, it just blows me away to think that God would use someone like Paul or someone like me as an example of his love and his grace to lead others to himself. My name is Troy Etheridge and I've been reborn.